Hey guys, welcome back to another moveset video. Today I'm going to be covering Mega Tyranitar. And, um, yeah, let's get right into it. Um, obviously that, um, is Tyranitarite to Mega Evolve it. He only has one ability, being Sandstream, so... Yeah, let's get into the move. Alright, so basically Crunch for Stab is going to be your strongest move. Next would be Earthquake, and that's also a pretty strong move, but Crunch will be stronger with Stab. Now, here's the little... Earthquake is just for type coverage, but, um... Here's something weird about this. I'm running SmackDown because I just can't stand rock moves. Because look at this. Look at this. Stone Edge, 80 accuracy. Rock Slide, 90 accuracy. Where is it? Rock Throw. Uh, rock Tomb, 95 accuracy. Uh, just run Rock Tomb or Stone Edge, whatever you want. I just hate to gamble on it because a lot of times I can win, but I just miss. But SmackDown is not even that bad because... With stab and super effective, it is stronger than cr a non super effective crunch. So yeah, um, it it's it works pretty well. Um, it's good enough and it's pretty good for flying types as well. So I can just f smack one down, but it's not really that good. Just run Stone Edge if you don't really care about the accuracy, because I just can never run it. Um, because Rock moves, also Rock Throw is is 90 accuracy. So basically all. Physical rock moves, except for SmackDown, have lower than 100 accuracy, which kind of sucks. So yeah, um, and now here's the main thing about the set is Dragon Dance. It boosts your attack and speed by one. So basically, it's a free choice man choice scarf if you're able to set up. And because of Tyranitar's amazing bulk, it um basically you'll always be able to set it up. And uh, Tyranitar's not even that slow, Mega Tyranitar. So if you do set up the uh, Dragon Dance basically can outspeed most things and uh and your attack will be magnificent so it doesn't matter that you're running smackdown it will still probably one hit ko a flying type uh earthquake will most definitely one hit ko a rock or steel type um crunch will definitely just destroy everything whether it be super effective or not if it's resisted then use one of these moves but uh yeah so if you can set up one Dragon Dance, that's all you need. Don't get cocky and don't keep setting up Dragon Dances. This makes Tyranitar an amazing um, revenge killer. And uh, because you can just set up a Dragon Dance and take whatever's in and then against those low health Pokemon, you can just take them all out. So basically, if someone has a team of a whole bunch of like 50 of half health Pokemon because you damaged all of them, and Mega Tyranitar is your last Pokemon, you should be able to easily take them all out. So yeah, uh, here's the battle. So here's the battle with Mega Titar. Like I said, uh, Dragon Dance with the booster attack and speed makes him great revenge killer. So it's gonna show from the enemy's perspective. And he sends in Latios first. I'm assuming it's a he, because he's using a male avatar. But he's gonna trick on to my Halugia choice specs, which was a smart play. So I get go for I can't talk. A sky attack, which doesn't get fully charged because of the power herb. And uh, now I switch into Coffee Grigus. He's gonna try to Sire Shock me, do whatever he wants. I don't care, I'm just gonna try to get a Willow's buff. He mi he avoids, not misses. But, uh, yeah. In comes Mamoswine. I go for the Willow Wisp once more, get the burn off on Mam. Mam yeah. Mamoswine. I decided to set up a nasty plot because my Coffee Grigus is physically defensive and. I knew a d an attack from Mamoswine wouldn't do anything, so uh, I set up a nasty plot, and uh, he's gonna try to earthquake me, eat it up, like it's nothing. So I go for the hex and just easily take it out. Cough Egregious is a definitely a very good Pokemon. He's gonna send in Dragonite, um, and just outrage, easily takes me out. Luckily, his ability is now Mummy. I'm gonna switch into Infernite, and because he doesn't have the multi skill anymore, my Hidden Power Ice will be able to take it out. And, uh, yeah, it's a special Infernape, so, yeah, it's special attack's not that bad. And, uh, in comes a Haxorus. Uh, I go for Hand Power Ice. I know he's gonna Dragon Dance. And, yeah, because that's a common set on Haxorus. And I thought I could outspeed it, so I went for another Hand Power, but Haxorus is really fast. So, yeah, I wasn't able to outspeed it. So I send in Staraptor, because I have Choice Scarf, so I'll be able to outspeed everything. And I go for Brave Bird, um, take it out. And, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, in comes Jirachi, which ice punches me. And because I outsped Staraptor, I knew it was scarfed automatically. So I sent it in Tyranitar uh, to set up, because I knew he couldn't drain punch me. And uh, in comes Latios, 
which is a psychic type, which is a perfect victim to Tyrantar. Now here's where Tyrantar starts to sweep. Uh, because of a Dragon Dance setup, I'm able to crunch, get that super effective. The crit didn't even matter. Um, in comes Jirachi, um, who's going to Iron Head me. Luckily, I don't flinch and I crunch, take it out easily. Now in comes Magnazone, Earthquake. Simple, simple. Uh, I know I wasn't really able to use Smackdown as much. Uh, I probably would have used it on Dragonite, and uh, that's probably that's pretty much it on his team. Smackdown would only really work on Dragonite. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys all later.